Welcome back to Night of the Living Dead. We've got a bunch of ghouls in the house. We're in a little bit of trouble, but we have a lot of cunning plans going to happen this episode. All right, I think we're going to start off with Tom. Tom's over here in this room. He's in his zombie side side of his character, as depicted by his orange uh, miniature. And in that room, in this scenario, in this scene, we can search for... Um, melee weapons. And the very cool thing about Tom at the moment is he has the flashlight and it's a search you draw two cards, which is so good because he's going to be drawing two awesome melee weapons right now. Let's get to it. So this is the melee weapon deck. It's been all shuffled up. He gets one, two. So let's hope he can find some weapons here that are really going to help us out. And let me get my glasses on so I can see what they are. First one is a machete, a machete, cool. It uh, does rolls one dice, hits on four place, does two, can take out fatties with this. Discard along with a sawed off. Uh, the survivor receives Maw's shotgun. <laughs> Let's hope this is a, it's, um, it's not a saw, of course we're not in the ranged weapon area. And a katana, doing rolling two dice, hitting on a four plus, one damage, very cool. So he's got both of these now. Uh, he will put the machete in hand and he'll put the katana in his backpack. That was his first action over here. Very cool. All right, let's, um, I'm going to figure out now what he wants to do. And I think for his next two actions, he's just going to move. And he's going to move over here with Helen. Because then Helen can take uh, the, the katana from him and start uh, ginsuing some of these guys. Maybe. All right, let's see. So... One, two. So that's going to be all of Tom's actions. He's now in here with Helen and the three ghouls, which could be dangerous. Uh, so I think we will have Helen go next. I'm going to zoom down a little bit. She's going to uh, do an exchange action, of course, with Tom. And then she's going to try, hey, you know how I roll dice here, to take out some of these ghouls. Okay, so for Helen's first action, she's going to do an exchange action with Tom. Tom is here with her, of course, and she's going to grab the katana from him. Uh, of course, we just looked at it. It rolls two dice, it's on four plus, doing one damage. So she's going to take the katana and stick it in hand. So now she's swinging that. She has two actions remaining. Her two actions are going to be trying to take out the ghouls. She's at one experience, so if she takes out all three ghouls, she's only going to go up to four experience. I'm not going to trip us over into the yellow zone yet. All right, Katana, do your stuff. Let's see if she can get a 4+. Plus. And she gets one hit, so that's good. So one ghoul has been sliced up with the Katana. Uh, yeah, got it in the right bucket. <laughs> that's very cool. Going from one experience to two. And she has one action remaining, so she'll just go ahead and attack them again. And this time she gets a three and a two. So very inexperienced with the katana, of course. Wow, four dice, one hit. Statistically, um, statistically so far we're not doing very well dice rolling, but that's okay. That's going to be the end of Helen's turn, unfortunately. And now i got to think about what we want to do next. Uh, I think we're going to go up to Judy. She's got a fatty and a breaker in her, in her area there. And... Uh, she didn't do very well last time with a crowbar, but maybe, just maybe this time she'll get luckier. Uh, so let's get up to her room, just up to the north, and have her take her turn. Oh, okay, okay, Judy, this time, this time is the charm. She's got the crowbar, so once again we can look at the crowbar. Rolling one dice, uh, hits on a four plus, doing two damage a hit. She can take the one fatty down, which already gave her a damage. Not good. Oh, and I should say... The way I use the Zombie Side Black Plague and the way I use this Night of the Living Dead uh, character boards is I put the hit points uh, peg at three, donating, <laughs> donating, uh, meaning that they have three hit points and then as they take damage they go down to two, one, zero. The game tells you to put it at zero and then you, you add your wounds. I just find that counterintuitive. To my thinking, I'm too much d and I guess over the years. You don't start with zero hit points and then say, well, once I get up to 10 damage, I'm dead. It's like you start with 10 hit points and when you get to zero health, you're dead. So that's how I do it. Anyway, uh, not really relevant to the game. Okay, let's have, I'm just trying not to roll dice, I think, because we hit it so badly last time. All right, crowbar. 
Rolling a die. Four plus. Come on, Judy. Take down the fatty. Ah, four. Now, why didn't you do that last episode? All right, so she takes the fatty down. Finally, that's her fourth swing, actually. Uh, that's going to give her one XP. That's her first experience uh, of the game. So she's there with a the crowbar. She may as well take another swing, and this time at the breaker. And she gets a two, so might as well do it again. And she gets another two. So, wow, she is not doing well with the crowbar. That's a total of... That's a total of six rolls now with the die, and she got one hit. Six rolls, one hit, 50-50 chance. Now, that's not good. <laughs> All right, that's the end of Judy's turn. We still have a breaker sitting in here. We have Harry, Ben, and Barbara still to go. So let's have... Oh, boy. When we still have two... Harry's got to come in and save the day. Uh, so let's let's have Harry, I guess, go next. Okay, so Harry is looking through the doorway here, was watching uh, Helen swinging the katana around and not doing much with it. <laughs> so he's going to do his first action to move into the room and say, Helen, throw me that katana. So for his second action, uh, she's going to give him the katana. Oh my god. And let's see if Harry has any better luck with it. So it's rolling two dice, <clears throat> hitting on a four plus. Doing one damage per hit. Come on, Harry. Let's see if you know how to use a katana. And he gets a six and a four. Harry is a star with that thing. Ginsu's both of these ghouls into little pieces. That was his final action. So, wow, he got lucky there. He goes from one experience up to three. We're still in the blue, which is excellent. That's Harry's turn. Wow. All right, we have... Pulling up the rear of the game. Up here we have Barbara, and then we have Ben. So let's go ahead, and I think we're gonna have we're gonna have Barbara go first. All right, we're gonna start off with Barbara. She is in her zombie side uh, form, as designated by the uh, orange miniature, and she is in the zone where you can search for ranged weapons. If you're in your zombie side side, she can't pull two because she doesn't have the flashlight anymore. But she can pull one, so we're going to see what she gets for a ranged weapon. Let's see, what did she get? She gets the Ithaca M37 shotgun, I believe. <laughs> Holy God, zero to one. Rolls two dice, hits on a four plus, does two damage. And you know what's really cool about Barbara? <laughs> Just by coincidence, in her backpack, she has plenty of, plenty of shells, and plenty of shells you may re-roll once all attacks with your shotgun weapon. The new result replaces the previous one may be used in the backpack. So she can keep her plenty of shells. She's got plenty of shells. She's got a table leg, and now she's got a pump shotgun. Awesome stuff. Oh, I love this. So that was her first action. Um, and, oh, what does she want to do, though? For her second... Oh man, now we're now I'm confused because she's searched. So for second action, she'll move out here. Can't search anymore. She searched once. I wonder if for her third action, she should move in here. Um, you for her third. You know, for her third action, she's going to move over here. And the reason she's going to move over here because there's going to be a spawn point there. If something spawns, she can at least shoot through the window at whatever spawns there. And with that weapon, she can take down fatties, relatives, and uh, ghoul walkers, no problem. So she's going to kind of hang out there guarding that spawn point. All right, uh, that's the end of Barbara's turn. Actually, pretty good turn. Up last for characters is Ben here. Ben's sitting here with the scoped Winchester, which is really cool. So we'll kind of keep things as is here. Ben's first action is to move into this room and... Let's take a quick look at the Scope Winchester. So it's got a range of 1 to 3. Rolls 1 die, hits on a 3+, plus, doing 1 damage. And if you get Sniper, you get to choose your target. And because it's Sniper, the Sniper ability means there's no friendly fire. So if he's going to... He can shoot from this room at the Breaker and have no chance of hitting Anne... Or Anne... Of hitting Judy... I'm thinking Zombie Side Black Flag, excuse me. No, And no... Fear of hitting Judy with the Scope Winchester. So he's got two actions left. We we'll zoom down a little bit. We're going to get out the dice tray, and he's going to take a couple shots at this breaker and see if he can pop him off. 
All right, this time it's better than 50-50 odds because, damn you, it's... <laughs> and he hasn't searched yet either. Let's keep that in mind. If he actually hits the breaker and kills the breaker, his first action is moving, second action shooting, third action could be to search. So, come on, three plus, better than 50-50 odds. And let's not see a one or two. And he shoots and he gets a five, popping the breaker off. Good stuff, see you later, breaker. Nice try. That's gonna put Tom at one experience. That's his first kill of the game, all right? That was his second action. For his third action, he will indeed do a search in this room. There's no ghouls there. And he finds more boards, which is kind of what we need. So he's going to be able to turn that into a barricade piece, uh, which is good because now we've got a total of two, four, six, eight. We have nine barricades. Remember, we got to barricade all these windows. It's the name of this scenario. Okay, Ooh, I'm going to zoom out uh, and we're going to have ghoul movement and ghoul spawning. All right, so far a much better turn than last time. All right, it is the ghoul time to go. Now, uh, let's start down here. So we have a breaker. The breaker is not in a zone with a character, so he's not gonna attack anybody. He's got, his second thing he would do is start smashing stuff open. If there's nobody to attack, there's nothing to smash open. So he just goes, hey, hey comes right in the door and joins our little congregation here in the living room. All right. That's that zombie, or it's that ghoul going. I have a hard time calling them ghouls. I'm so used to calling them zombies. Ghoul. The ghoul up to the north, the walker, just going to line of sight, sees Judy, and just comes right in to say hello. That's it. Now we're into spawning. We're going to spawn here first. And Light of the Living Dead spawn card. We're all in the blue. Nobody's tripped over to yellow yet. Three. Oh, God. Three walkers. Okay, there's a party going on on that side of the building. At least we have three characters there, but nobody's got any ranged weapons, so wow. That's three walkers showing up right here, wanting to come in through the doorway. Nice. Spawn point to the north. What do we have up there? One breaker. So the breakers are also showing up. So we'll get a breaker there, and they're gonna show up here. And we now have the final spawn point. We're here, and let's see, we've got Barbara protecting the spawn point, and of course, there's nothing there. But that's fine. That's all good and dandy. All right, I'm gonna zoom down a little bit. We're gonna wrap up our episode for today. All right, so has, how it sits, we have Ban up here with his scoped Winchester, and his table leg, uh, and we have, of course, Judy here with one Ghoul Walker, we have a Breaker, we've got Harry, we've got Helen, and we have Tom all here. And we've got Barbara up here protecting the spawn point with nothing in it, so that's fine. Uh, we could also maybe next time have Barbara come down into the melee room, or she can go back and search uh, for more ranged weapons as well. So it, we've got options, we have options, but we're doing, I think, okay. We have, we're missing two board pieces to <clears throat> block all the windows. So when we get all of our uh, barricade pieces together, it's time to strategically place ourselves and just take a whole turn barricading everything to try to win the scenario. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, your subscriptions, and your likes. Really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Uh, if you like the videos and subscribe to my channel. And we will be continuing this tomorrow, next episode. And we'll see if we can pull it off. Uh, again, it's the opening scenario. <clears throat> I'm having a lot of fun with it, though. It's a really cool game. So thanks so much, and we'll see you then.